Hello, I am Dr. Imran Khan. Today we are going to discuss what is 3D fin fit transistor. How does a 3D fin fit transistor works? Since Moore's law driven scaling of planar MOSFETs faces challenges in nanometer regime, fin fits and tri gate fin fits have emerged as their successors. Owing to the presence of multiple gates, Finfit or tri gate finfits are able to tackle short channel effects better than conventional planar MOSFETs at deeply scaled technology nodes and thus enable continued transistor scaling. Relentless scaling of planar MOSFETs over past four decades has delivered ever increasing transistor density and performance to integrated circuits. However, continuing this trend in the nanometer regime is very challenging due to drastic increase in subthreshold leakage currents or off currents I off due to very narrow channel lengths in deeply scaled MOSFETs the drain potential begins to influence the electrostatics of channel and Consequently, the gate loses adequate control over the channel. As a result, the gate is unable to shut off the channel completely in off mode of operation, which leads to increased off currents between drain and source. The use of thinner gate oxides and high K dielectric material helps to alleviate this problem by increasing the gate channel capacitance. However, thinning of gate oxide is fundamentally limited by the deterioration in gate leakage and gate induced drain leakage. So our uh, old MOSFETs are in uh, are near to limits so uh, because because of high design cost high VDD and high power usage so we have to find uh, alternate uh, uh, structure for our uh, planar MOSFETs Reducing equivalent oxide thickness is not enough because gate cannot control the leakage current paths that are far from the gates. So here uh, you can see here we have this gate source drain and uh, uh, this is the leakage path and this is uh, basically the channel between uh, uh, the drain and the source and here uh, you can see uh, some capacitances. So, uh, reducing uh, this uh, equivalent oxide thickness is uh, not enough uh, because uh, gate cannot control the leakage current paths. So, so one of uh, the two ways to better control threshold voltage and uh, swing is this uh, multi-gate uh, transistor uh, structure or uh, uh, the FinFit uh, technology. Multi-gate field effect transistors uh, which are uh, an alternate to planar uh, MOSFET uh, demonstrate better uh, screening of drain potential from uh, channel uh, due to proximity of additional uh, gates to the channel. This makes multi-gate uh, MOSFETs superior to planar MOSFETs in short channel performance uh, matrices such as subthreshold slopes, drain induced barrier lowering or double effect and sub and threshold voltage VT roll off. Improvement in these matrices employs less uh, degradation in uh, 
the transistors vt which continued uh, with continued scaling which in turn implies less degradation in off crunch uh, so here uh, you can see uh, we have one uh, uh, basically uh, alternate is uh, our uh, multi gate transistor structure and uh, or the fin fit structure so here uh, you can see here we have this uh, source drain and uh, there are two gates here okay gate 1 gate 2 and uh, here this is uh, basically the fin fit and here uh, uh, this is fin width and fin height and this is uh, basically the gate length so this is source region drain region and uh, here you can see this is the fin fit structure so multi gate uh, mosfets and fin fit uh, the way of uh, eliminating deep leakage path is uh, to provide gate control from more than one side of the channel the silicon film is very thin so that no leakage path is far from one of the gate because there are more than one gates the structure may be called multi gate mosfet so here uh, you can see here we have uh, the figure of uh, double gate mosfets here so here uh, you can see two gates and uh, this is the source drain and here you can see this is the channel so here uh, these two gates can uh, uh, control uh, uh, this channel uh, better fin fit structure one multi gate uh, uh, structure call is called fin fit so here uh, you can see this is one example of fin fit and uh, uh, this is um, fin, fin, fin fit on bulk and uh, fin, fin fit on SOI or silicon on insulator. So uh, this uh, fin fit uh, uh, structure is uh, uh, attractive for its uh, simplicity of fabrication. The channel consists of two vertical surfaces and the top of the fin. Uh, so here uh, I have uh, one question what is the channel width w in case of fin fit so answer is the sum of twice of the fin height and the width of the fin okay so fin uh, design consideration so here uh, we have uh, fin width fin height and uh, fin pitch so uh, fin width so as we already discussed so here you can see this is the fin fit structure and uh, uh, this is uh, basically the gate region this is the source region this is the drain region so this is uh, uh, gate length so here you can see this is the gate length uh, this is uh, fin height and uh, this is fin width so uh, we, we will see how we can uh, 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 basically uh, design our fins okay so fin width so it basically uh, determines uh, this uh, short channel effects or SCEs uh, uh, fin height so our uh, fin height is uh, basically limited by uh, the edge technology uh, fin pitch so here uh, you can see a uh, fin pitch it's uh, the distance between uh, the two fins so here you can see so uh, your fin uh, pitch basically determines the layout area so uh, it limits uh, the source drain uh, uh, implant uh, uh, tilt angle so now uh, we will uh, discuss uh, uh, the double gate uh, fin fit uh, versus uh, uh, the tri gate uh, fin fit. Uh, so, in this figure, uh, you can see uh, here we have this uh, uh, the structural comparison between fin fit and uh, uh, the, the tri gate fin fit. So, it's uh, basically the double gate fin fit or simply fin fit, and this is the uh, tri gate fin fit. So, uh, in this figure, uh, basically a tri gate uh, FET. Uh, along with FET uh, or uh, simple uh, fin fit, uh, tri gate fin, uh, uh, fin fit or uh, simply fin fit, you can see these structures. 
the thickness of uh, the dielectric on the top of the fin is reduced in uh, trigate uh, FET in order to create the third gate. Due to presence of uh, the third gate, the thickness of uh, the fin also adds to the channel width. Hence, trigate uh, fin fits enjoy a slight uh, uh, width advantage over uh, the double gate fin fits. So our uh, trigate uh, uh, FETs also have less gate source capacitance compared to the fin fit due to uh, additional uh, current conduction at the top of the surface. But this advantage is diminished by increased parasitic uh, capacitances. So here uh, uh, we have our uh, double gate uh, versus uh, uh, tri gate uh, uh, fin fits or the FETs. So these are uh, the various multi gate uh, transistor architectures uh, supported in uh, uh, BSIM uh, CMG model. So BSIM is basically a Berkeley short channel insulated gate field effect transistor model. It was uh, developed by University of California Berkeley nowadays it's a uh, uh, industry standard so here uh, we have uh, the different uh, uh, structures so here uh, you can see the fin fit on bulk fin fit on SOI so here we have this uh, vertical common gate FET twin silicon nanowire FET so uh, this one and horizontal nanowire FET so here we have these uh, uh, different uh, structures. So variation in uh, the fin fit structure. So here we have this uh, uh, tall fin fits, short fin fits, and uh, the nanowire uh, fin fits. So these are the variations in the fin fit. So uh, tall fin fits have uh, the advantages of uh, providing large width and therefore large on current while occupying small footprint. In case of short fin fits, uh, they have the advantage of less challenging lithography and etching. Nanowire uh, fin fits gives the gate even uh, more con uh, control over the silicon wires by surrounding it. So here uh, you can see uh, the nanowire FET. So uh, our today's lecture was uh, uh, focusing on uh, the fin fits. So uh, the working principle of uh, fin fit is uh, similar to uh, our uh, uh, planar transistors. So in case of planar transistors, as you know that uh, uh, you apply the voltage at the gate terminal and uh, control uh, the current between the source and drain terminals. So uh, in case of fin fit, the working principle is uh, uh, almost same to the planar transistors. So uh, this was all for today. So if you have any question, please uh, feel free to contact me. Uh, thank you very much for today. Uh, see you next time.